Thank you for coming to our weekly press conference today for Blue Jay football. Uh, coming off a game against Park Hill South where we got a win last Friday night and um, did some good things, have some things we need to improve on, and uh, hopefully take that into our senior night game this week against Columbia Hickman, be able to get some momentum going as we um, have that game and get closer and closer to district play. I'll go ahead and open it up for some questions. All right, uh, could you talk about the what was different in this game and previous games? Well, I think one thing, you look at this game, um, we were able to get a lead and keep it. In our previous four games, we've had leads and been able, unable to keep them due to various things. Um, I don't know if we played extremely well, especially in the fourth quarter. We had some times we could have put this game away a little bit more, and we didn't by turning the football over or um, you know, just not doing some assignments right. But uh, all in all, we were really pleased with the win and, um, that we're, and fi happy that we were able to finish out a game. Um, you said the team needed to make some more improvements before the next game. Could you list some of those? You bet. And one of the things we've been fighting all year is turnovers, and it really hasn't been fumbles till this week. We've had some issues, um, you know, throwing interceptions and turning the ball over on downs, things like that. Um, but we had some opportunities in the second half where we didn't take advantage of when we were inside a 20-yard line, one on a fumble and another on a um, – we took a sack and then missed a field goal that we really felt we left some points on the board that would have put the game away further. Uh, defensively, we were really pleased with how we played. Um, they, they did uh, score two touchdowns, and both of them were set up on some long plays that they had. Uh, they have a couple of really good athletes on their team at Park Hill South, and one of them was a long reverse, um, long reverse run that we didn't get to, and um, then another long pass that set up a touchdown. But we really felt like the exception of four plays, we played pretty well defensively. Hopefully we can keep improving in that area. Um, what are you looking to do different this week that you might not have done last week? Well, I think when you look at Columbia – Hickman, they have a different offense than what we played last week. Um, whereas Park Hill is more of a spread offense, or excuse me, Park Hill South is more of a spread offense. Columbia Hickman comes in, they do have an option element to their game. It is something that gave it trouble last week. So that's something that we've been really working on this, this week. They have a big running back, six foot, 230 pound running back, a big kid that runs really hard and downhill. We know we're gonna have to tackle him and. Um, you know, and have to have a lot of people swarm into the football. So those will be some things we take into it. Offensively, we're going to continue to try to just execute better on what uh, we've been doing. There's not a lot we change week to week. We do some wrinkles or maybe line up different on some things, but we have to continue to execute our base plays better than what we have been. Uh, could you talk about the status of Matt Gassner? Yeah, Matt Gassner is a two-way starter for us and had an incredible game there tonight. He had uh, one really nice touchdown, and then he had one that was also called back on a hold where he made a great play. Uh, right now, he has a dinged shoulder, and we're hoping to get him back possibly Friday, if not you know, in the next couple of weeks. It's one of those things that doesn't appear to be real serious, but it's something that's going to nag him, maybe keep him from playing 100% at this point. Um, what are your overall feelings on the upcoming game against Hickman? Or do you have any like specific worries or concerns? Well, I think the biggest thing when you look at Hickman is who they've played. They're a team, one, that beat us last year, and it was a, one we lost in the last minute of the game um, down there. Really, you know, a hard defeat for us um, that uh, – when you look back at film, we did some things really well, but we didn't finish that game out. And we're hoping that, you know, that coming in that we know we're going to have to play the entire four quarters against them. Then you look at what their schedule is. They're a team. They're not in a league. They're an independent team. They played CBC, who's out of St. Louis, who's the number one ranked team in the state. They played Jeff City. They played Jeff City Elias. They played uh, Columbia Rockbridge, Columbia Battle, and Lee Summit. So they've played a, a lot of really good high-ranked state teams so far. So we know they've played a lot of really good competition. And it'll be really um, – <clears throat> when you do that, you can't help but get better. And I know they've gotten better each week. Uh, how is that win affecting the team? Like, did it well, motivate them any? You know, I think when you look at it a lot, getting that one after coming so close in some of the previous games off that, I think it's really helped, um, you know, just with the overall – um, not only say morale, but we definitely can tell a difference this week. And the kids know that they can do it. I think before they knew they could do it, but now they, um, you know, they've had that vindication. They're, they're able to validation that they're able to get that W on the board um, against a league opponent and be able to do that. So it's really helped out. We're hoping, like I said, that we can continue to ride this into the next couple of weeks. 
All right, uh, I'd like to, uh, before we close, just say good job to our um, JV and freshman teams that got victories last week. Our sophomores didn't play. Our JV won their fourth game in a row this week, um, beating Park Hill South 44 to six. And then our um, freshman um, last week picking up another win. And then this week they play Winnetonka here tonight. So uh, really proud of those two crews. And along with our sophomore team, it's gotten better each week, even though they had the last week off. So thank you, and we'll see you again next week.